On Sunday, December 7th, religious leaders on the west side, south side, and far north side all led peaceful protests in their respective communities over the decisions in Ferguson, Missouri, and New York not to indict white police officers over the deaths of unarmed black men. The West Side protest tied up the intersection of Madison Pulaski Strip Mall, a very popular shopping area. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for this opportunity that He has given us to gather together yeah. to call for justice to roll down like waters yeah. and righteousness like a mighty stream. Protesters marched, chanting, hands up, don't shoot, and Black Lives Matter, then laid down on the ground for 11 minutes to symbolize how long Eric Gardner was choked by New York police officers. The Black Lives Matter movement has been occurring all over the country in areas such as Portland, Seattle, Dallas, New York. The list goes on. Even a group of second graders in New Bedford, Massachusetts. North of the border in Calgary and Toronto, Canadian protesters held a die-in on December 13th. Hundreds of medical students wore white coats at die-ins and other protests held on college campuses to spotlight racial bias as a public health issue. I believe the movement has grown from a black-white issue to human rights, police brutality, corruption issue. What, what brings you out in support of this cause today? Uh, what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong, and everything that's been going on is wrong, so we're out here to support what's right. I go to church and I just want to do what was right. We were tired of the injustice in the system, so we decided to protest peacefully. Yeah, and like, you know how all the killing going on, it's like we ain't got no say in what happened. And this is Aaron Carter reporting with the West Side Writing Project.